Today on the show, GTA 5 is the best-selling game of all time, Call of Duty is going back to its roots, and Pierce hates movie video games. This is Birds of Plays. Hey everybody, What's welcome up? to Birds of Play, Season 2, Ep 5. I'm John Stallion McCrone, joined by Logan Anstead. Finished finding the Chaos Demons, finally killed Devil yeah. Man. And Pierce Turner. I forget why we said you were going to dysentery or something. He's yeah, yeah, he yeah. was dead. But we're all back together. We're all back together which now. Is, which is nice. The yeah. season two reunion yeah. where Axel makes out with Susie. Ch I can't no. remember. Right. Say by the bell. Anyway. Cancel it like Club, Club, <laughs> Club Penguin. It's done. On the show today, we have a good topic, I think. Yeah. GTA 5. Well, if you think it's good, it must be good. <laughs> GTA 5 has sold 75 million copies since... Now that's the release of like the original September 17th, 2013. Yeah, yeah, the original release. My 17th birthday. Now, does it, and that includes like all of the resells and re-releases. That includes right? PS3, 360, PS4, yeah. Xbox One, yeah. and PC. PC? Yeah. yeah. A little unfair, I think, because it had like, you know, six releases. Well, they count Tetris as uh, yeah. 450 uh, yeah, yeah, million. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, this puts true. GTA 5 as the fourth best-selling game of all time. Oh, okay. Uh, include, and number five is Super Mario Bros. at uh, 40, 40 million. million. Yeah, GTA and then GTA 75. 5 is 75. Wii Sports at 82, Minecraft at 107, and Tetris at 500 million. So it's important to note platforms. that Minecraft and Tetris is across every platform every I've ever platform. been on, which is yeah. every platform. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I mean, on let's, your phone even. Let's talk, about, let's talk about the little cheats with that list, right? Yeah. So you have Wii Sports, which was bundled in with most of the Wii consoles, right? Yeah. You have which now we, people didn't actually buy it. The fact that Wii Sports is barely ahead of GTA V says a lot about how much I mean, GTA V yeah. is. Like. It beats it by like. Uh, that's like not I wonder. Like what, I, I really want to know, and we probably won't know until the PS4 has has ultimately finished. Mm. Um, but I want to know what the attach rate is for GTA per console, because you know how like there's a lot of games like I remember The Last of Us back in the day had like a one to eight attach rate on PS3, which means one out of eight owners had that game on their console. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if for GTA 5, like I'm sure I'm sure we could figure out gross statistics right now. Mm -hmm. It's got to be like at least one in five, one in four maybe. Yeah, I mean I, I definitely think that's true because it definitely seems like a sort of like staple for a game library to have you know GTA 5 because. It was one, the new GTA, and two, it's like a brand new, like it's their newest, it was their, yeah. it was their newest, and I, it was totally new. I bought it twice. Rehashed. I bought it I twice I regret buying well. it twice. I bought it three times. Did you really? Yes. I think I bought it for the 360, and I bought it for the Xbox One, and I bought it for PC. Huh. I might not buy it for the 360, but I think I did. I, so. I think you're just making everything up right now. Do you no, even no, play video games? <laughs> I, I play tons of video games. your name John Crumbs? I love Tetris. Who I are love you? It so much. <laughs> no, but I, I bought it twice, too, yeah. and I just remember like, no, there's not many games I'll do that with. I did it with The Last of Us and GT5, and those are the only mm. two games I've ever bought across two separate systems. But that's because the the value that you got out of GTA, especially, was just so great. It's hard, and it's it's continued to be that way. And I think that's a mm. reason why it's continued selling. The constant push of free DLC updates has been yeah. incredible. Now, granted, some of those have become egregiously expensive to grind out, um, but there's still always that option where you could just throw 20 bucks yeah. down for a microtransaction card and get I mean, something. Plus, like, you know, it's, it's kind of the same, even though I'm not a big fan of GTA, I really, really, really enjoy the model. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, like, with um, Rainbow Six. You can buy the season pass and get all the new um, dudes and maps and stuff for free, or you can grind out a little bit. But, I mean, I think, like, you complain about the grind a little bit. Like, I, for me, that's just, you know, it's playing the game more. Mm -hmm. If you like the game, you're going to play it. There's a reason, I don't really play GTA that much, but there's a reason, there's another reason why I, I grind out like all the characters to, to Rainbow Six, I love that game. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna play it. The, play the, the play, game the game. The thing about GTA is like, I'm always gonna complain about having to do a grind or whatever, like, cause it's just annoying. Cause I wanna cause have, a nerd. I wanna have access. Well, sure. I don't have the, I'm getting less and less time yeah. to play video games. So I wanna be able to access you the full record content. Um, but I'm also like a broke college student. So paying for that is a problem. The problem with GTA is it's the same thing that happened with World of Warcraft back in the day, which is that because so many people have accumulated this great sum of money, uh, Rockstar, the developer, has started to make all the new items more expensive and mm -hmm. scaled it accordingly. Mm -hmm. So originally, what the, the most expensive car in that game was a million dollars worth of the in-game currency, right? Yeah. Now I think we're hitting 3.2 million. There's cars constantly I, coming out. I for would that. think it's even more than that. I yeah. believe with this newest update, you, there's like custom stuff. But that, that's the thing. It, it's just exponentially growing, and it, it's it's understandable. But like, if you haven't, if you want to jump back in, if not being in it in a while, yeah. it's kind of an issue. Do you think yeah. that if 
this momentum keeps going because we're not with expecting GTA? with we're not expecting GTA mm. 6 to happen anytime soon. Right. Um, do you think it has the potential to not only beat Wii, Wii Sports but even? I think it could. Top top. I think it could totally beat Wii Sports. Minecraft, no way. I think it totally beat Wii Sports because yeah. what I think is going to happen is going to keep growing. Um, and I think when Red Dead 2 comes out, it's going to stagnate a little bit. But I think it's going to transfer. Red Dead Redemption is at 15 million, by the way. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's. I mean, significantly lower, but mm. I mean, that's still, like, ridiculous. I, I, well, I think it's going to, because if they're m doing the model, which they kind of said they were, where they're adapting a lot of their open world games to the GTA model, where you have a strong single player and then a very strong online component, if they transfer that to Red Dead, I think it's going to just carry the GTA momentum right on the Red Dead. I don't know if it'll, like, surpass GTA, but I think it'll, it'll get it really hard. Red, Red Dead is never going to surpass GTA. And the, it does in quality. And I don't, think, I don't think GTA is going to move worlds. past. They love cars. I don't think GTA is going to move past uh, Minecraft, especially no. because no. Minecraft is a $20 title and GTA is a full $60 title. Yeah. Granted, it's on sale all the time, yeah. but that there, there is the concept of there being yeah. a money gate, I guess. And when your mom sees you playing Minecraft, you know, that's okay, but when she sees you playing GTA, <laughs> unplug it. What the are Xbox. these nice blocks? Yeah. What is that? That's, that's I love some that. cute cow. Is I love a, it. Is that a phallus? Anyway. <laughs> you, still, you still kill cows in both yeah, games. Yeah, it's, it's, so. there's still murder. You can kill cows in GTA. Yeah. You can kill cows in GTA. Mm -hmm. I'm just that's glad right. they're not making a GTA movie. That's yeah. just real life. That's just, That's real, just real life. life. Which is yeah. a segue oh. into today's soapbox. I totally forgot about oh, this. Oh, gosh. Cut to his camera. He has a soapbox. Play that intro. Play that intro. <laughs> and we're back. Okay, so let me tell you about video game movies. They started, they started kind of back in like the 80s and 90s with like Super Mario Bros. and Mortal Kombat. And they were made because video games were the new thing. And everybody was like, oh, let's try making movies out of them. Well, they suck, and uh, even the ones that were kind of good kind of suck, like the first Resident Evil movie or Tomb Raider with kinda, uh, Angelina suck. Jolie. Yeah, even the good ones kind of suck. They kind of suck. Um, why do they keep getting made? Because we got Assassin's Creed that just came out, and it blowed, oh. and we got Warcraft <laughs> that came out, it blowed, oh. <laughs> and we got uh, Prince of Persia that came out a few years ago, it blowed, and we need to stop trying to make video game movies. There's all this talk about Uncharted, Last of Us movies coming out, because the games that they're based on are already kind of movies, but why make a movie out of it then? We don't need it, we don't want it. I'm the biggest Uncharted fan you know, and I will never ask for an Uncharted movie starring some idiot like Mark Wahlberg <laughs> playing, playing my favorite character. We gotta get the treasure. Park the car in Harvard Yard. You gotta Park stop, the you guys gotta stop, and by you guys I mean the movie makers, you gotta stop trying to make <laughs> video game movies because we don't want it, and we're not gonna buy them anymore. We're not gonna go to the movies, we're not gonna buy the tickets, right? Uh, well, we won't, but here's the problem. Yeah, everyone else has. We, well, okay. everyone, well, else everybody else is an yeah, idiot. we won't. Yeah. Stop <laughs> making video game movies. Stop trying. Or I'm going to come out there and I'm going to spank you. It's fake You're going to spank Mark Wahlberg? I'm going to spank <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> but he just wants to find Francis Drake's treasure. What about structure. Donnie? What about Donnie Wahlberg? Donnie Wahlberg? You smack him? I don't even know who that is. <laughs> His brother. He's Donnie a, Wahlberg. Is they he, own Wahlburgers. Casey you know? Affleck. So that's all He's I want to say. Casey Affleck. He's in that mix. <laughs> that's all I want to say about video game movies. What only, do you think? I mean, what do you guys think about video game only, movies? I, here's, here's my thing about video game movies. Um, you said Assassin's Creed. You said World of Warcraft. I gave thumbs up to both. I like both those movies. I think the grand problem... You're the problem. <laughs> you're the grand problem. The, problem. the grand problem with those type of games is you're only going to make a video game movie with a video game franchise that's been around for a while, right? Assassin's Creed is 10 games in, something like that. So when you make a movie, you're going to have a lot of people who like the game and know it, right? But you're also going to have a lot more people who have no idea what it is. And they just see Michael Fassbender in a weird mecha suit. Like, it's I'm not even that. that. Okay, there's, well, there's the different types of bad video game yeah. movies, and I'll explain. So the Assassin's Creed was actually very close to the source material. It was just a bad movie. Because well, the like, games are bad. But, the for games example, are bad. <laughs> but for example, Resident Evil is... It's like, it's nothing like the game. It started, Absolutely, it no, it didn't. It, it started, really, really didn't. It started with ties to the Umbrella Corporation. And oh, then yes, well, okay, so the Resident Evil has went. names taken from the games, mm -hmm. and that's it. And, well, it's, and, that's, yeah. and they're just bad. Because here are my two main points. You either try to do something with like Assassin's Creed, where there's way too much to explain in a short amount of time so it doesn't just work out, or with Resident Evil, those kind of games can't translate into movies well. They can't do it easily, so they're always going to well, mess it up. Well, they could, but they just do it wrong. No, I, I think it would be difficult to transfer I, that kind I, of game I just think should, they should stop trying to make games into movies in general. I, I agree. I, think, I, I still want them to try, but they shouldn't do it as much. They're kind of doing those superheroes now. They, they need to calm down a little bit. There's no, there's no World reason. World of Warcraft was good. I thought that was a good movie. Which one? World of Warcraft. Warcraft, excuse me. Uh, I thought it was good. There's no reason it. cinematic video games sh 
should be made into movies. I mean, they're already trying to achieve that goal. Uncharted. They're already doing movies. Uncharted and The Last of Us. Last of Us is already a movie. Should, they don't have to be movies. They're already movies. Exactly. The with gameplay. The only video game esque movie that's been good recently is Wreck It Ralph yeah. or whatever, and it's because and that wasn't it took, based on anything. No, yeah. it took a lot of different source material, and actually they made a bad video game Whoa. out of it. So you know. To flip turn upside down this conversation, did you guys hear about the uh, Hideo Kojima interview recently? He said. Which one? <laughs> I think it was with BBC or something, but if I'm reiterating right, he said that he wants to make his video game, he wants to make it like a movie, he wants to make it like a, a book, like a video game with like a good score and everything. He wants to like, like a TV show, he wants to like combine all of the elements I into one ultimate uh, medium Hideo, piece. You, you forget Hideo Kojima is a literal madman. <laughs> <laughs> He's insane! He's like, the mad scientist of video He injected nanomachines into his body. If he didn't, make, if he didn't make like really good games, he yeah. would have been taken away He'd by be now. crazy. <laughs> Well, what do you think about that? Like video games that, and like, like I don't know if this was the goal of Uncharted: Last of Us, but video games that try to emulate like a movie atmosphere, kind of like Quantum Break, you know? So it's a video game that kind of needs to be well. a movie. It didn't, because they were trying too hard, I think. Like Last of Us, that's basically a movie. So okay, so games like Uncharted and Last of Us, people say it's easy to say they're basically movies. They're really just cinematic, in t like they just do acting and vo and and cutscenes better than everybody else. That okay. doesn't make them a movie. I th yeah, yeah, this is a, this is an argument yeah. for another time. Anyways, the point is, video game movies suck. Stop making them. I I, I kind of agree with that. You kind of agree with that? I completely agree. Okay, I'm but a little. They're not going to because there's too much money. Because of the money. What's our final topic, John? Our final topic. This is a Logan topic, probably because he's a uh, uh, doofus. Call of Duty. Oh, really? Is apparently going back to its roots. Mm -hmm. Now, does that mean World War II for the initiated like me? Who I, didn't read the story? Uh, I doubt it. So as of uh, yesterday, uh, Activision uh, came out it. with a bunch of stuff. One thing they said was Destiny 2 is still coming out this year. Yeah. But the other, the other thing they said is Call of Duty, the one that's coming out this year, is going back to its roots. And that's all they said. Okay. So what, was like in what like does back to quote. its roots mean for okay. Call of Duty? So let, let's, let's Hardcore break it gameplay? down. Let's break it down. Cover, <laughs> like, <laughs> going from cover to cover. No, here, here's the thing. Call, not Call of Duty for the last four years has been... In space. Trash. Well, three years has been in space. <laughs> but it's been kind of awful. Uh, 2013 garbage. had Call of Duty Ghosts. That was a complete failure. People hated it. Critical and commercial flop by their standards. Still sold like 18 million copies. Whatever. So they said... Wipe hmm. their ass with 18 million copies. <laughs> but, exactly. but yeah, Bla but Black Ops 2 had sold like 25 oh, million that. before that. So they were like, all right, we got we to gotta reinvent this we, thing. We'll real, so yeah. Sledgehammer Games comes out with this boost jumpy advanced mm -hmm. warfare thing. Introduce the idea of 3D movement to the Call of Duty series, which is where you're not anchored to the ground anymore. You can move in a three-dimensional way. Um, that was received okay at first. It got some critical success. I thought it had one of the best campaigns in Call of Duty. But after that, after about seven months, everyone was like, mm, no. And then Black Ops 3 came out. It was revealed it was another future game with another set of 3D movement. Toned back Space a little bit. Garbage. But it was okay. It was okay. Honestly, I really like Black Ops 3. The only thing that ruined it for me was the supply drop system. Um, so you have a bunch of people going off of Black Ops 3. They're like, all right, they really need to reinvent themselves. So everyone was expecting... Infinity Ward, which were the developers behind Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 1, you know, the OG Call of Duties, the traditional Call of Duties, yeah. to come out with something that I was mean, OG and original. Instead, they came out with space. <laughs> with so, more space. And that's they what... Came, they, they just invented space. Yeah. Yeah. They invented space. But that's yeah. the thing. They came out at this investor's call, this earnings mm. report, and they were essentially like, um, space didn't do so well. Um, mm, it didn't annoying. receive it, you know, that's as everyone annoying. told them. Yeah. Well, what's, yeah. been, what's been happening lately, I think, in not just video games, but kind of in entertainment in, in general, in is that the media people are seeing that when franchises and, and properties get stupid, like uh, Resident Evil, for example, did with 6, and mm -hmm. that it's better to take it and make it back to when it was simple, because mm -hmm. that's when people liked it. Mm -hmm. For example, nostalgia. Resident Evil 7. Not even just nostalgia, it's just J. 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 better. Yeah. Like, things are better when they're simple and not yeah. blown up to be in space. Because, like, what this means to me is, I said it before, you know, what would you not think I would like that? I don't think it's going to go to that. Uh, what I really think it is, is, you know, boots on the ground, Cover to cover, like intense Absolutely. firefights, intense. That's movement. exactly what they meant. Like by actually feeling movement. like you're in like a real, um, like minute yeah. to minute mission. You know, yeah. not as you know, as essential as Battlefield, but you know, the, 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 the difference of the games. So you feel more like an action war movie in Call of Duty. The yeah. two biggest problems. Which I loved a lot. The two biggest problems with Call of Duty the past two years or the past few years has been two biggest problems. The two and the two in the long list of problems. In the long list of problems, the two biggest problems have been that the community is not staying around because they're not enthused with the way the game mechanics are. And then the people who are staying around are getting 12. pissed off by the supply drop and system. Logan. And yeah, Logan. and they're me. Yeah. Um, so I guess that's the third thing. But no, I, I, it's good to see that they're returning to form, but I just don't know how well they're going to implement I'm gonna this. I'm going to flip turn upside down some facts on you. 
You've you told me <laughs> before the show that the supply drops were actually supra- surpassing sales numbers than just regular games. Yeah. And stuff so, like that. so are people tired of them? No, here's the thing. P- it's the same thing that happens in the mobile games industry. Everyone's like, oh, Clash of Clans is successful. All mm. these mobile games are successful. Those games are only successful because there's a few whales, as they're termed in the gaming industry, that spend Ooh. hundreds of dollars, Ooh. thousands of dollars Ooh. worth on these microtransactions. Of a whale. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so in this earnings call, they revealed that the microtransaction DLCs, the supply drops mm. for Destiny, Overwatch, and Call of Duty, mm. outpaced the DLC sales for those games. Which is incredible to me. That's never happened yeah, with any Yeah, and that's my thing. Well. Like, I think in no way people are getting tired of those kind of microtransactions because mm-hmm. they work. They keep buying them. I mean, they, if, work, they keep buying them. And you gotta people, pay, You gotta oh, speak yeah. with your wallet, not yeah, with your yeah. mouth. Because if you keep, if people keep buying them, they're yeah. gonna keep doing them and they're gonna yeah. keep up charging for them. And like, and people applaud. This isn't gonna Overwatch go away for their loot box system. I've seen it so many times on the internet. People are like, "You did it right, Overwatch." Because they don't. Here's the difference between Overwatch and Call of Duty, and here's why I support There's Overwatch a lot of systems versus Call of Duty. <laughs> Overwatch system is cosmetic only, and they have stuck to that since the beginning. They have not changed their formula of everything being in loot box okay. is straight cosmetic, doesn't change okay. the gameplay. Okay. Every single year for the past three years, Call of Duty has been like, we will make it a fair system. We will make it like mm-hmm. this. Advanced Warfare added supply drops that you could only buy and earn very rarely that gave you a better chance of getting the better guns. Boom. Boom. Black Ops 3 promised cosmetic only. They had it for it three ran. months and then introduced ranged weapons that you could only get out of it. Boom. Infinite Warfare comes out. They're like, you can earn every weapon, you know, just by simply grinding. It takes 95 okay, hours but to earn when, one. Okay, Boom. They're going back to basics, and that doesn't mean they're going to get rid of microtransactions. Oh, in no way. No. In no but way. So, that, so, that's, so back to basics for Call of Duty means what? Does it mean World gameplay. War II, or does it mean... It means that, I think we said the boots on the ground I think gameplay. that's all it means. Okay. Yeah. I, but, they, I, but they're still going to have the microtransactions. They're still oh, gonna absolutely. Have drops. No, totally. rumors, but rumors have led us to believe that the next game is supposed to be a Vietnam-era setting. Um, the okay. teases that Sledgehammer has, has gone out. Okay. We don't officially know anything yet, but um, it's def- it's more rumored to be in the past than it is to be a okay. current day. Okay. Um, Mendoza. But, <laughs> but the thing is, like, I just uh, I I don't like what you Mendoza. what you were saying earlier about like people being fine with the microtransactions or whatever. I don't think they are. I think the general public is pretty upset about it. And you can see, you can Stop see that them. you can see that on online threat. But that's the thing. It, even I bought the Thriller Dance from Destiny. Yeah, I, I know you know. did because you're one of those people who's like, ah, I really like this. I really like the Thriller but Dance. But who grudgingly goes, oh, Call of Duty's making me buy this Thriller Dance. Here's my five dollars. Okay, Call but of how Duty. many how many supply drops have you bought in Call of Duty? Zero. I've never bought a Call of Duty supply oh. drop. They're not. There is literally no guarantee you're going to and get any of the items. Show Logan's tax returns. I bought <laughs> two. I bought two Rocket League sets of. Yeah, DLC and yeah. I told you I'd, I would cosmetic. never yeah, yeah I would never buy one again and the Rocket League ones yeah purely cosmetic I'm mm. happy to support that, get that I get that get I get that development is expensive and mm-hmm. you need to make more and I get that publishers are constantly asking developers to and make more money and for Call of Duty that's not really a realistic excuse because yeah. they sell even on a bad day they sell 18 million copies that's the thing it's like you know the, they're making money the thing is they just want to impress investors more and more and yeah. it's working because you have these whales because you have mm. these people who are just buying this content Fernandez. that's overall hurting in the game it's mm. it's the law of diminishing yeah. returns and what's happening is Activision is seeing what happened with Doom they're mm. seeing what happened with Resident Evil they're seeing what uh, Ubisoft is trying to do with Assassin's Creed yeah. and they're going oh this is working this is better and th- we're, we're going to actually attempt to make a good game yeah. instead of just pooping out a Dumb Call of Duty every year. I also think I, I think they see what uh, like what Overwatch is doing, and even what even though to a much smaller extent what Rainbow is doing, where it's not these game breaking, like actual game necessary as you said loot boxes, mm-hmm. where if you don't buy them you go down in quality and like your gameplay and everything. It's just purely cosmetic. If they do that, people love those. People I have always love. People those. will accept. There's a few people who are like, I don't want any microtransactions yeah. ever. That's not going to happen. That's not going to be part of the gaming Never industry again. anymore. Yeah. The problem is the. The, the addition of game-changing weapons that mm. not everyone has access to <laughs> breaks the balance of a game. They added in new weapons to Modern Warfare yeah. Remastered this week, yeah. which makes one no sense because that game that game was supposed to be the we're going back to the past and this is supposed to be a great thing. Wow, that's just yep. Call of Duty. Boo. Yeah, but no, it's it was m- my friend bet me a few months ago. He said I will give you a hundred dollars if they introduce ranged weapons into Modern Warfare Remastered. And he said he said this to me, and Are I'm just like, I'm like, you, I'm like you, I'm like you lost, <laughs> I'm like you lost a hundred dollars yeah. right then. And then it came out, it, it happened to me on, on his boxes. birthday. <laughs> on his birthday, they come out with the ranged weapons. I was like, I'll take that birthday money now. It's fine. <laughs> no, I'm not actually gonna do it for him, but. Um, <laughs> that'd be so. That'd be 
No, that'd be awful. But no, it's just it, anyway, no I think one that can makes believe you a bad person. <laughs> it might make you. I'm bad already a bad. Moment. It's fine. Uh, final so. notes. Yeah. I just wanted to like kind of summarize. If Call of Duty goes back to what we see in like Big Red One and Two and Black um, Four. Ops. And a little bit of Black Ops, but they're kind of going away with it. Where it's like ground on the boots. I would be surprised if they go way back. Full I mean, combat that's options. That's what Battlefield did, and it worked out. Yeah, but like with like the full combat, like you know, boots on the ground type of scenarios. Boots on the ground. Would you guys, as opposed to like, boots would you on the space? Be, exactly, boots in the space. <laughs> boots in the air. I would be super excited for that kind of game. Would I'm, you, I'm would excited, you guys just excited for Call of Duty for to be good again. Be good again. Well, yeah. Regardless of what they, what direction it goes, I just want, I just want. To would be that good. win you back in the Call of Duty sphere if it was like boots on the ground, hardcore gameplay action? Not this year, probably not. I, I'm just. Here's the, I've, I've been burned. Do you so think many they're times. gonna make a cover art that isn't just some guy holding a gun? No, I don't think so. They couldn't possibly not do. Maybe that. they'll make it with a woman. It's I think the I think the art team there is just some guy who's like really into that. Yeah. 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 One guy. I mean, right. they, they see that cover every year. Any, like, final, hmm. any final thoughts about Kurt Brudis? I, I, I Menendez. Um, no, just uh. <laughs> Post Menendez. Post Menendez. Post I think he has a, he has a <laughs> kind of funny name, Duty. Duty. Yeah. Yeah. It's a funny Duty. I just I just hope. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm probably not gonna buy it this year because they've just burnt me too many. Do you say but that every year? And then you buy it. No, but like I'm, I'm hundred bucks. Serious. Hundred bucks. Logan buys it. Phantom handshake. <laughs> hundred bucks. This has been Birds of Play, season two, episode five. I'm John Stanley McCrone, joined by the fabulous, lovely Logan Anthony, and the even fabulous, lovely, lovely. And lovelier. this time next year, I'll be a hundred dollars richer because of that bet. Pierce Love, Turner. Lovelier. Pierce Colby Turner over here. Birds of Play. <laughs> Bye everybody. Pierce Colby Turner. Bye everybody. <laughs> That's not his name. Bye everybody. Bye. John bought one of those new chokers. Look at it. <laughs> it looks like hands. I want to do that as one of the segments on uh, the, the squawk or whatever. Yeah. Like some girl walks in and she's like, got she a choker. A like she's like, I got a new choker. And then James is like, I got one too. And it's just you choking him. <laughs> like, you guys want to take a thing? Wow. Me. Are you fine? You've lost privileges. All right, you go. Go. All right, my turn. It's hard to do because this is full. It, you can't do it what? full. Bye. <laughs> Or is it going to land right side up? Got it.